falling from a height of over 15,000 kilometers? And cabin pressure has dropped to a dangerous level? Oh dear. But wait, what's that little bag on your mask for? Can you guess what it's for? Uh, I didn't understand the question. Is it something to do with oxygen? Correct. Yes, oxygen. Delicious, refreshing oxygen. You might have seen people enjoying oxygen on the street. Or in an exclusive oxygen bar. But why is oxygen so important? Let's find out. We're going to begin by simulating the effects of a low oxygen atmosphere like that in a crashing aeroplane. You may have seen experiments like this before. If you have, why not occupy yourself by practicing this? For this experiment, we will require a volunteer. This is Sinjin Smeghorn, a research student from the Gaseous Emissions Laboratory at the University of St. Smeagol. He has volunteered to be locked into this airtight chamber for the duration of the experiment. Safety equipment is issued. And the experiment can begin. The oxygen is removed from the chamber. Watch closely what happens. Our volunteer is completely unable to breathe. Now let's provide an emergency mask. A flow of oxygen is provided by the mask, yet this bag does not inflate. Why? You can stop doing this now. Emergency oxygen masks are useful in all sorts of low oxygen situations. But even though oxygen is flowing to the mask, the bag attached to it does not fill up. Why might that be? Is it something to do with the flow of oxygen? Right again. Let's find out why. For this experiment, we will need a supply of oxygen, a one-way delivery system, and another volunteer. This is Samantha Fruit from the Cannery Institute at Cromwell. Samantha will be asked to breathe oxygen from this apparatus. Oxygen will only flow in one direction using this system. The hose is attached to the oxygen cylinder and the other end to Samantha. Now let's turn on the flow of oxygen. Samantha can breathe in the oxygen just fine. But if she tries to breathe out... Oh, let's try that again. Breathe in and out. The one-way flow of air allows the user to breathe in, but is useless when they breathe out again. But what if we use a bag instead of our hose? Now, if we breathe in, then out, the mask stays put. This is because when you breathe out, the flowing oxygen fills up the bag and is stored there. When you breathe in again, the oxygen can continue on its way to your lungs. How simple. Well done, everyone. Now you can stop worrying about breathing and start enjoying the rest of your flight. Bon voyage. Please stop doing that.